Hello and welcome to this video. As you can see from the title, this video is actually a vlog. And as you can see from my background, I'm no longer in a dorm room or a dorm apartment. I'm no longer on a college campus and will not be for the forecoming foresee foreseeable future. But I just wanted to come and do a little introduction for this video because this video was filmed a few weeks ago when I was still living in Dartmouth last month and I was out of school but living on campus for running and this was just a little vlog that was me spending the day with myself where I went um, to Strawberry Moon in Marion and then uh, just kind of chilled. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy that and I will be making a, an update video on I guess what's actually happening now in my life. Uh, this video has just been very late but I still wanted to put it up there because I did film it and I wanted to put it up there because I have it and why not? But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and give it a like and subscribe if you like this type of content i'm being weird but uh yeah like i said i will be posting an update life update video soon and a little bit more details on what this channel is about and what type of content i hope to be putting out on here so again thank you for watching and if you got this far and you're really excited to see what i get up to in the vlog then Continue watching. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to the vlog. I guess that's what I'm calling it. I don't know. I, I, I guess it makes more sense to call it a vlog because it is a vlog, but I also refer to it as a time capsule because, like I said, the whole purpose of me making these videos is for me to want to be able to look back on my life. Who knows? I feel like, yeah, I won't want to look back. But anyways, that's my introduction. So... Today is Wednesday, May 12th, and I have no plans for the rest of my day, but I just made plans and I thought that I would vlog them. I'm gonna go to the Strawberry Moon in Marion, which one, I've never been to Marion. Two, yes, I went to Strawberry Moon a couple days ago in the one in Dartmouth, but three, apparently this one has a butterfly garden and also tea and maybe other selections of items. So we're gonna go there, cause it's like, I think 25, 30 minutes away. And I wanna see it and I have nothing else to do. I had practice this morning. It was a chill 30 minute run because yesterday I had a time trial and <laughs> that was awful. Like, let's like not even talk about it. But I did find out that I'll be racing at Open New England's um, this Saturday. So that was a turn of events that I didn't realize was gonna happen. So I'm gonna be racing. So I'm telling myself it's a good thing I did bad yesterday because you know, it was like, it gives me a second chance to like, well, one, I get to redeem myself and two, it means that like the, the speed that I didn't use yesterday was just being saved for Saturday. So let's hope that makes sense. I'm looking for my wallet and I thought it was in this bag I just grabbed. And it's not. Oh, it's in this bag. <laughs> I'm like a bag lady. I have so many bags and I kind of love it. Like, does anyone else have a certain type of bag for different types of occasions? Like, oh, look, I'm going adventuring. Gotta use my backpack. Oh, I'm going to a cute little store. Gotta use my little purse. Oh, I'm going grocery shopping. So I wanna be hands-free. So I'm gonna use my crossbody bag, which is this. Yes, my main bags. <laughs> me and my main bags over here. <laughs> if you can relate, let me know so that I'm not the only one. Anyways, got my water, which is always good when you're taking a trip, hydration. These cups are like low key, one of my favorite items I own. They are these Starbucks cups and they change color when you put a cold drink in them. I literally don't even ever drink coffee out of them. I used to, but I try, I try to like not drink too much coffee actually because I don't want to be addicted to caffeine. So I used to like fill it halfway and I'm like, I can use a smaller glass. But this is what I drink water in just around 
either when I'm in the car or just walking around where my, my living space because it has a straw and it makes me drink more water. That was a long description of my cup. So I started this vlog as I was getting ready to leave. What shoes do I wear? Decisions. Okay, so yeah, that's my plan today. Ooh, it's one, one, one. If you're into like numerology and stuff, it's always like a good sign, you know? Um, also, I kind of want to take a quick apartment tour because I have to pack up tonight, actually. That's another reason why I wanted to vlog today because I'll be in a different building starting tomorrow and I know that, and I'm living with uh, one of my teammates and I'm probably not gonna vlog in front of her because that would be weird because I'm not used to that yet. So let me give you a little tour. Okay, so here we go. Uh, you can't actually look there. That's a little secret project that is for my boyfriend and if he sees this video, I don't want him to see it. But just a little quick tour here. The book I'm reading, my sketchbook, my paints, the setup, Brian. He's my roommate right now, good old Brian from the Black Breakfast Club, if you're familiar. The view, the clouds look gorgeous today. Look at them go off. I've been taking very good care of my plants lately. Thank you, Alexa, for this lovely plant. I think it's called a Chinese evergreen. I can fact check that in a minute. I'm growing some basil. Those flowers are dying, so don't pay attention to those. And the bedroom, just Basic, uh, it doesn't look that empty, not looking at it, but it was a lot more full when I was living in it in the semester. But yeah, and I'm drying some clothes. These are my other plants, plants. I'm trying, I'm like, look at me. I'm developing a green thumb. If you think you don't have a green thumb, that's you telling yourself that you can't when you can, believe in yourself. Because I don't, I didn't have a green thumb. I'm developing one. I don't say I have one yet, but it's definitely on the come up. So that was my little tour. <laughs> Just for mem mem's sake, because I really like this place. And it, I made it really cozy for this temporary time that I'm living here. And then I don't know if I'll decorate anything in the place that I'm moving in tomorrow because I don't really know what the vibes are gonna be. I'll probably hang up like a poster and like a painting just to make it feel not super bare, but we'll see. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I'm here. It looks like a house and I can't even tell which door to go in. It literally is a garage. There's a lot of cars here though, so that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not gonna talk while I'm in there, but I'll film, a little, I'll film some clips and share what I find, but I'm excited. I need to fix my hair because I only had it in a braid because I wanted it to be a little wavy. Let's see if it worked. <laughs> Probably didn't really work. That's fine. All right, let's go in and see what we find. Hello. So I just was in Star Moon, as you could see from the little clips that I took. It was very quiet in there. So um, there was like no one else in the store. Uh, but I did get a couple things. Hi. 
As you can see, I am back from my little trip to Strawberry Moon. And I am in the mood for some yogurt because I'm hungry. I took a little snack and I'm really tired. So I decided I'm gonna go chill in my hammock and read and maybe take a nap. So I thought I'd make my yogurt in this jar and then bring it with me so I can eat it outside because it's a lovely day. Let's see, like, how are we gonna make this? Peanut butter, honey. Now, I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but if whenever I eat something in a jar, sometimes it's hard to, like, mix it around. So I feel like I'm gonna put honey on the bottom. Uh, we're gonna just, like, get creative with this. A little bit of honey on the bottom, not too much. I don't actually know if that's just gonna stay at the bottom. It probably will, I'm realizing that now. It's fine. Do we really need this? Look at that. It's like a little yogurt parfait. I totally should have put fruit at the bottom. Fail. It's okay. We can put fruit in now. I have a little colander for my fruit. And I absolutely love it. I can't tell how much yogurt this is compared to the amount of yogurt I normally have. I don't want like a ton of yogurt. That's a lot of blueberries. <laughs> this is kind of funny. This is fun. I'm going to put some more honey. Fruit is my favorite food. Fun fact. Uh, if I could live off of eating just different types of fruit for each meal of the day, I would really would. I would say strawberries, pineapple, clementines, bananas. I was going to say my favorite and then just listed off like a handful. Those are probably my top faves. I think that banana is like the super fruit because, oh, oh, it's so sad. That went under the dishwasher. I don't trust these floors. I mean, like, I clean them, but I don't clean under there. And who knows what's under there. Oh, that's so sad. It's okay. Um, she's becoming a big yogurt parfait. That's fine. What was I saying? Bananas are the superfood. The super fruit, in my opinion. Because they're just very versatile. You can make banana bread, banana muffins, with them in your oatmeal. You can just eat them as a snack. They go great with peanut butter. They go great with chocolate. You can freeze them and use them as your smoothie base to make it nice and thick. There's just so much you can do with them. And I've definitely been sleeping on them for quite some time because honestly, I feel like as a kid, bananas were never my fave. They weren't my go-to. I'm gonna get a little spicy in here. Actually, I should call it sweet. <laughs> Because it's not spicy food, but you know what I mean. Add a little pizzazz, and I'm just gonna put a few dark chocolate chips because I can. And I'm gonna put some peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Teddy peanut butter is the best, in my opinion. Okie dokie. And you know what the best part of using the jar for a yogurt parfait? is snap a little oh oh no i was like i already got one but it goes to the peanut butter jar snap a little lid on it now it's ready to go look at that beautiful right it's not the best presentation but for our first go around not bad uh yes this is an old teddy peanut butter jar so that's why the lid is that. Another great reason why Teddy peanut butter is the best because it comes in a glass jar and then you can keep the jar for your coffee, your water, your yogurt parfaits, your trail mix like this if you like to do that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go chill in the hammock now and enjoy my yogurt parfait.